For many, airplanes are death traps. Although airplane accidents are practically nil compared to those that happen in a vehicle traveling on a highway, when one does occur, the news is often truly catastrophic. Of course, what stands out about these complex calamities is that many people die at the same time and, in most cases, their bodies cannot be found. However, there's a very particular category within airplane crashes. These are airplanes that disappear without explanation, flights that don't arrive at their destination, but that no one can assure that they have suffered a real accident, since they've never been found. They're very particular and terribly creepy cases that you'll get to know if you join us in this opportunity. Number 5. The Disappearance of Vancouver Canada has one of the coldest climates on the planet, but also one of the strangest aerial disappearances on record. It happened in 1983 and its protagonist was the pioneer in the field of computers, part of a UNIVAC electronic design team, and a great inventor, George Coker. Five members of his team and him were on a flight from Vancouver to the hunting lodge at Smithers. It was the afternoon of September the 2nd. There was no record of any anomalies in the aircraft and the pilot reported that there will be no turbulence. The weather showed no irregularities despite it being a really cold day. However, the control tower attempted to communicate with the pilot. His arrival had been delayed by more than an hour, but there was no way to contact him. Something was wrong and after 24 hours without communications, it became clear that something catastrophic had happened. Allegedly, the plane disappeared over British Columbia and the most expensive search operation in British Columbia's history was immediately activated. Nearly $1 million was spent to come nearly 40,000 square miles, but there wasn't a single trace, no clues, nothing that would lead to any guesses as to the location of the missing. After several weeks, the search stopped, but the families of the missing continued to invest their money in trying to find their loved ones. Again, the search was futile. The plane simply vanished from Earth. Number 4. The Tragedy of 1979 Some air tragedies are very peculiar. Even though the rescuers have the certainty and the exact location of the place where the plane crashed, when they arrive there, they're shocked when discovering that there's no trace that reveals the whereabouts of the victims or even that an accident occurred there. Such is the case of the 1979 tragedy. It happened on July 7 of that year. A plane took off for Alaska and was carrying the British novelist and writer Sir Ian McIntosh, Susan Ensoul, and some other passengers who were victims of a plane crash when the plane's engine began to fail. It's believed that the plane fell into the sea about 45 miles off the coast of Kodiak, and with that information, the rescue team sprang into action. For three days, rescuers covered the entire area trying to find any clues. If the plane had gone down, there would probably be survivors trying to get somewhere. But there was nothing. Not even a trace of a crash, not even a trace of a body. The plane had disappeared into the sky and its crew had vanished completely. To this day, this case remains shrouded in multiple mysteries. The plane carrying these victims was never recovered, and it's believed that it may never be found. Number 3. A Suspicious Disappearance Thomas Hale Box is a name that may not ring a bell, but for decades he has been part of the many conspiracy theories surrounding the United States. This man was a member of the U.S. House of Representatives representing Louisiana, and throughout his career, he became a truly influential person. His performance began in 1961 and remained unchanged until 1970. At that time, President Richard Nixon felt somewhat uncomfortable with his presence and his political stances, as they went in the opposite direction to the changes that the president believed were necessary. In that context, on October 16, 1972, Mr. Box boarded the Cessna 310, 
a twin-engine plane carrying Alaska Representative Nick Bajish, who appeared to be a clear candidate for the general election race that would occur just a month from that time. Mysteriously, on that flight from Anchorage to Juneau, the purpose of which was to continue raising funds, something amazing happened. Communications were cut off, the plane went out of sight of all raiders, no civilian or patrol managed to see it, it simply disappeared. A search service was immediately activated for exactly 39 days, but not a single sign of a plane crash was found. There was no trace to follow or any missing footprints. It was almost as if the plane had disappeared, and someone was responsible for that. Of course, all conspiracy theories point to President Nixon, although it's difficult to be completely sure. No one knows what really happened to the crew of this plane, but one thing is certain, the remains were never found. Number 2. Out of this world Sometimes disappearances can turn into even stranger events. The story of Frederick Valentich is a case in point. The 20-year-old experienced pilot was on his way to King Island on October 21, 1978, when something strange changed his life, although it would be more precise to say that it ended his life. According to records, Frederick kept in contact with the Earth Tower operator during his last minutes of life. The conversation is bizarre and has gone down in history as one of the strangest and most revealing cases of UFO encounters. Rereading the conversation reveals that Frederick was piloting calmly in the air. The flight was going perfectly well, the weather was ideal, but he quickly spotted a strange aircraft chasing him. He immediately contacted the control tower, but they didn't know who it belonged to. Suddenly, the craft began to approach, and Frederick would describe it as a strange rectangular object that orbited above him and was trying to shoot him down. From that instant, about four minutes passed in a bizarre aerial game in which the unidentified flying object appeared and disappeared until the end came. Frederick believed he had escaped his attacker, but his voice is cut off and only the sound of metallic clanging and strange waves are heard. The rescue team spent nearly a month searching for Frederick, but no trace of his plane or his body was ever found. Frederick disappeared. Some believe that he ended up somewhere far from our planet. Others prefer to assure that the pilot suffered from some psychological problem that drove him crazy at high altitudes. Whatever the case, this mystery has never been solved. Number 1. The Unfinished Around the World of Flight The 19th century was full of dreamy aviators who were engaged in accomplishing almost impossible challenges. One of the most relevant of the time was to fly around the world in a certain number of days. There were many who tried, but a few succeeded and their stories are still present in our times. Although no one has fascinated readers as the curious as much as the one starring Amelia Earhart. This renowned aviator attempted to fly around the world in 1937 with her friend and co-pilot Fred Noonan. To accomplish this goal, they used the Lockheed Model 10 Electra, a powerful aircraft for the time, but with great shortcomings. Even so, they took off on a clear afternoon and many, many people were sure that they were going to make it. They also had a lot of faith, but unfortunately, something terrible happened in the process. According to reports, the plane crashed in the Central Pacific Ocean near Howland Island, and all communications with the passengers was lost. The rescue team tried to find the crash site or to spot any of the crew members, but all to no avail. Both of the plane and passengers disappeared completely, but the story doesn't end there. In subsequent decades, numerous pieces of evidence have been found that could confirm that Amelia survived on an island close to the crash area. To be sure, several objects were found, which experts believe to have belonged to the pilot, and even parts of the uniform she was wearing have been spotted. Some human bones that could belong to her have also been found, but they were in such poor condition that it is impossible to trace their origin. Most people are convinced that Amelia managed to survive and died due to the harsh conditions on the island. 
Others believe that she simply sank with her dreams to the bottom of the sea. Regardless of what happened on that flight, one thing is certain. Like the rest of these stories, Amelia is just one of the many mysterious disappearances that occur throughout the world, although they are rarely reported in the media. However, if you want to learn more about other strange situations that have occurred in flights or mysterious accidents at high altitudes, perhaps you should follow us and check out the following videos to discover why flying can involve more risks than you have ever imagined.